Hey guys, welcome back to T-Bones Tech. Today we're doing my low light video test over the brand new Canon EOS R6. Okay, so the video that you guys just saw was being recorded with the Canon EOS R using the Sigma 18 235mm lens in 4K at 30 frames per second at ISO 100. But right now we are recording with the brand new Canon EOS R6 at 4K 30 frames per second at ISO 100. This video should be pretty quick. I'm going to stop up my ISO from 100 to 200 to 400 to 800, etc., all the way to the max ISO on the EOS R6. That way we should have even results across the board. So again, right now we are recording at ISO 100. Let's stop up to ISO 200. Okay, so here we are at ISO 200, and I definitely don't expect there to be a big difference from ISO 100 all the way to ISO 200. Okay, so here we are at ISO 400, and we are using a 1 125th of a second shutter speed at f4 as our aperture again we're filming all the video at 4k at 30 frames per second so now let's go ahead and stop up to iso 800. all right so now we're recording at iso 800 and the shutter speed we're using is 1 250 of a second shutter speed and our aperture is at f4 which is all the way open and the lens we're using i forgot to mention that earlier is the canon 24 to 105 millimeter f4 l lens but now we're going to go ahead and stop up our iso all the way to iso 1600. okay so here we are at iso 16 our shutter speed is 1 500 of a second. Again, our aperture is wide open at f4. And as far as I can tell, the video quality seems pretty decent on the viewfinder of the EOS R6. But let's go ahead and stop up to ISO 3200. Okay, so here we are at ISO 3200, and 3200 is when we start to get into the higher ISOs. I believe my first camera ever, actually the max ISO on that camera was ISO 3200. That DSLR did not shoot video or anything like that. So ISO 3200 is pretty high and our shutter speed here is 1 1,000th of a second at f4. Okay, so now the video that you guys are seeing right now is being recorded at ISO 6400 and we are using a 1 2,000th of a second shutter speed, which is definitely pretty high. Uh, make sure to let me know what you guys think about the video quality here at ISO 6400. I'm definitely interested to know. Now let's go ahead and stop up all the way to ISO 12,800. Okay, so here we are at ISO 12,800 using a 1 4,000th of a second shutter speed, which is the max shutter speed on this camera. So the next time we increase our ISO, I'm going to also have to stop down the aperture to compensate for that faster ISO because we can't use a slower shutter speed. Okay, so now we're recording at ISO 25,600. Again, our shutter speed is locked in at the fastest possible we can go, which is 1 4,000th of a second shutter speed. And then I stop down our aperture all the way from F4 to F5.6, which is one full stop. So again, here we are at ISO 25,600. Now I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning, but I'm actually completely controlling the EOS R6 straight from my smartphone, which is really cool. So I'm controlling the uh, ISO, aperture, and shutter speed straight from the phone, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and stop up one more stop all the way to ISO 100 and 2400. So here we are at ISO 100 and 2400. Our aperture is stopped on all the way to F11. And again, our shutter speed locked in at 1 4,000th of a second shutter speed. It's really incredible to be using uh, such a high ISO indoors like this. It's really incredible to be filming inside and have our shutter speed as fast as 1 4,000th of a second, especially while having our aperture stopped on all the way down to f11 it's really incredible so i'm very interested to see what the video quality actually looks like but now it's time to stop up our iso one last time all the way to iso 204,800. i definitely don't say that iso number very often i had to look down to remember it so let's go ahead and do that right now so what you guys are seeing right now is the max iso that the canon r6 is capable of shooting iso 204,800. our aperture is stopped all the way down to f6 and their shutter speed is still 1 4,000th of a second shutter speed. And this is really impressive that the camera can even shoot at such a high ISO and have the video look remotely okay. Okay, so I just reviewed all the footage that you guys just saw and honestly, I am very impressed with the Canon R6 ISO performance. I think it is very good and there's not really a lot of noise. The image is relatively sharp and uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed, but I am very interested to know what do you guys think about the ISO performance here on the Canon EOS R6? Do you guys think it's really good or do you guys think it's not quite is good. It is definitely better than the ISO performance here on the Canon EOS R. And one of the reasons is the Canon EOS R6 is using that full frame sensor where the original Canon EOS R has that huge APS-C style crop. And because of that, when filming 4K video on the original Canon EOS R, it's basically like filming on an APS-C size sensor. And because the sensor is smaller, we're going to have worse low light performance. So I'm definitely very impressed with the Canon EOS R6. Well, that's about it for this quick little ISO test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs down below 
below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.